That makes sense. There's also the, uh... Another bonus chapter we should probably do pretty quickly. Yeah. Because it's pretty easy. And it's the last thing before the EX dungeon that actually forces us into a particular party. I guess we should probably at least look at the job boards. We might be able to turn in some things right away. Yeah. Second here. Your mic on? Should be. Solid light. Let's go ahead and get this loaded. Okay. What are the uh, green exclamation marks? Um, one of them. I don't know. It's, I was thinking one of them might be the dead ending, but... The one in Marksburg is gonna be the the, op, the uh, bonus chapter, I think. Leia, what are you writing? I'm just jotting some notes in my L diary. L diary? I'm keeping track of what happens while L's away, so when we see her, we won't have forgotten anything. So it's like a souvenir for L? Maybe I should get her something too. A collection of pretty stones, maybe. You'll have to prepare her favorite meal, Luga. Yeah. And you can put on a cloak and golden crown for her, Gaius. A cloak and crown? I'm sure that's how Elle likes to see her kings. What about me? When we get to Canaan, you'll show her what it is you do. That is what you promised her, is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. Hey, Tipo. What do you really think of me? You're a god among men! So handsome, so cool, so stylish. Oh my! How did you do that? Your mouth wasn't moving at all! Oh, it's easy enough. I've been waiting for a chance to do that since forever. If you don't mind. But the handsomest of all is that silver fox Rowan. Wow! Impressive. It was just like he was talking. <laughs> you honor me. I want to try. Oh, I'm so hungry. Let's eat soon. Mila, that was amazing. Is there anything the Lord of Spirits can't do? It pains me to say it, but I think you have all of us beaten. Really? Thanks. I've never tried that before, but it's quite entertaining. I bet with a little bit of practice. That's enough. Stop treating Tipo like a ventriloquist dummy! My body is not your plaything! <laughs> plaything, you say? Why, that gives me all sorts of interesting ideas. Mm, like what? Her eyes are scaring me! <laughs> Prism lens. 
unicorn horns from the optional dungeon. We need to get a code J Data 3. <laughs> Aren't you happy to see that? Not too much. What are the rewards for this? Money, 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 Hunter's monocle, Caius' headband. I think that's a cosmetic item. Yeah, Hunter's monocle is not a bad item. So none of those are really important. Some of them have scenes associated with them. Yeah. I mean, I think we need... I thought we needed... We might have to do those to actually get... The cameo. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Prism Lens. Which place has that again? So let me make sure I send the cat there right now. Looks like a cat item. Why does it not show up on here? I guess it's not. Oh, well, where is it? I guess you can look it up in the item book. Hey, a meaningless option. Oh, there it is. Or no, rainbow. Oh! That's right. It's a typo. Canbalar or Orta Palace. Yeah, or the Neocara Spiritway, Solea Tundra, or Land of Canaan, for that matter. Uh, for Cat Dispatch, I don't see, I only see it for Orta Palace and Campbellar. Yeah, I forgot. I remember that now, too, because I was looking this up before for a long time, and I was like, oh, they just messed up when they were translating the two different items. Good job, right? Let's see what this is. That's the sort of thing in a game just new that really should have been patched. Okay, that's the event that lets you go to the EX dungeon. Yep. Marksburg is the bonus chapter. You want to just do that? Yeah. Press. 
Empress be active. Are we healed or do we need to heal? I think we need to heal. Because you know Muse is missing half of her TP. Why we could yeah. requests for all the world's finest foods. But then I guess we'd have to offer suitable reward for each one. I really don't understand why ends even charge money in this game. It's just basically a convenience fee. I'm glad that Ivor's going to help us out. He actually is helpful in this part of the storyline. Hmm. So that's Kanan. I take it you guys have something to do with it. Ivor, what happened with Spirius? Exactly what I expected. I got canned. Sorry to hear that. So, I've decided to return to Nia Kara. I missed communing with all the critters there anyway. <laughs> Safe travels. Worry about yourself. Where you're headed seems way more dangerous. Jude, I swear I'm gonna figure out my mission in life. That's the only difference between you and me. You've already discovered your purpose. Until you discover yours, would you watch over Nia Kara for me? Of course I will, Lady Mila. We're family. Thank you, Ivor. He seems to be in a better place. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Yes? Oh dear. I understand. I will formulate a plan to deal with this at once. What is it? Fort Gondola's golems have gone berserk. Several of them are advancing on Sheraton as we speak. The golems are headed toward Sheraton? Brissel's in danger! Why'd they go berserk? The fort was struck by a massive tornado. A tornado? Another side effect of nixing the schism, I take it. Most likely. Spirit climbs have become unstable throughout Riza Maxia. They had deployed the golems, hoping to divert the tornado's course. But the odds controlling those monster machines may have been disrupted by the sudden magnetic shifts of the tornado. Even the new golem model? I'm afraid so. Its engineers apparently saw the tornado as an opportunity to test its abilities. And its ability-limiting mechanisms? Primary and backup governors were installed. Unfortunately, the spirit channeler controlling those governors was killed by the tornado. So chances are they're no longer operational. Hmm. Mila, I want to stop them. I could use your help. Very well. Luger, we should lend a hand. Golems are no run-of-the-mill monsters. Agreed. Much obliged. I owe you for this. <laughs> Luger, Jude, Mila, and Rowan will go to Sherilton to inform Drissel. Understood. We'll establish a local command center and a last line of defense. Everyone else come with me to the Talus High Road. We'll split up to scout the Golem's progress. How about instead of Rowan leading our group, We'll have Elise lead the play. The She's familiar with the Sherilton area. Yep. We'd better hurry. We better hurry to put Mila under the two-piece slot if she's not already. Tell about the golems. Should have a uh, Rolo lead our party. <laughs> if the golems have Kitty Chris or Peace Dog, we will quickly retrieve it. There's no time for that. What? Rogue golems are rampaging towards Sherilton? We're preparing to intercept them. As for you, my lady. 
order the self-defense force and the coalition of merchants to blockade the Talus High Road immediately. Tell them... Tell them it's because of tornado activity. No need to start a panic. Send a message to all merchant groups in the vicinity to return to the city. Explain that House Cheryl will compensate them for any damages. Yes, yes my lady. lady. Splendidly done, Lady Drizelle. I couldn't agree more. You honor me, King Gaius. What's the status of the golems? They've split in three groups, left, right, and center. We've secured three boosters, so we can send out three teams. The central group had a golem we've never seen before. It's a new model. A new model? Yes, it's an enhanced golem, capable of manipulating all four elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind. Mila may be the only one of us capable of meeting that threat, thanks to her ability to command the four great spirits. Are you serious? Wasn't the development of these sorts of weapons banned under the ceasefire agreement? I proposed developing them in secret. I gave my approval. Why would you do that? You have to be able to negotiate from a position of strength. Olympias is more than a little mightier. They're packing military airships and Spyrex weaponry. I suppose Riza Maxia must make a show of strength if it's to negotiate on equal footing. I'm not one to believe might makes right. But those who repudiate power often become its victims. Wielding power you can't control can make you its victim too! That I cannot deny. Perhaps today's incident will serve as a cautionary tale. Regardless, we're gonna have an international incident on our hands if we don't stop them before things get serious. I've devised a plan of action that takes into account everyone's respective combat abilities. Mila, I'd like you and the Central Team to battle the new Golub model. Luger, Jude, and myself will use a booster to support you. Alvin, Elise, and Leia will make up the left team. Roger that! Can I count on you to handle the booster? Of course! Wouldn't be the first time! Gaius, I'd like you and Muse to deal with the Golems on the right wing. Of course. This is my responsibility. Nothing the two of us can't handle. Drissel, prepare an evacuation plan for the city. Odds are one in a hundred it will come to that, but you should be ready. I will do what you ask. But knowing you guys, I'd lay the odds at one in a million. You know, given how this game works in a lot of ways, the group that has Elise and two other people who aren't re terribly relevant is the most powerful group. <laughs> hey, Jim, Canonically, it's me. Gaius and Muse is pretty broken. What's going on? The local critters found something interesting on the Neo Kara Holomont. Sorry, Ivor. We've got an emergency on our hands right now. What's going on? Well, we just tell Ivor. <laughs> Lady Mila is going up against a multi-elemental golem? So this is destiny. I understand, Jude. To the Talus High Road. Huh? What do you understand? <laughs> this is one of Jude's best moves, we don't have time. really. We better get moving. <laughs> Here's really the biggest plot hole about this whole endgame chapter. Hmm. How would it come to pass that Jude would give Ivor his cell phone number? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Mila gave it to him unwittingly? Mila would do does, that. Does Mila have a phone? No, but she might know Jude's number. <laughs> if she just asked Jude, he would tell her. Without questioning why she needs to know. And that was really pretty sloppy. <laughs> you just ran right into it. I know. <laughs> hey, this, let's just use this as an opportunity to link. We don't have chicken run right now. Oh, man. That Do we still have our recipe up? No, we don't. Could work all around. <laughs> that was pro strats. <laughs> I just, 
I was staring. It, it's hazy, okay? <laughs> oh, that was awful. To be obnoxious if this is what the Talos High Road is always like. It's not actually that hard to see. <laughs> like, it's a little annoying, but it's not that annoying. Rollo! Provide support! He's the booster. I don't remember this thing's mechanic.